tonight I'm going to at first show you a texture on uh, the poinsettia. Uh, the center was made um, from uh, Sydney um, semi sugar, Nicholas Law Green, and this is the shimmer. Uh, the the whole um, poinsettia is made other than it's missing a couple of the petals. So I'm going to show you that. It is a duplication of what I've done before, but it's just going to bring you back. Uh, I think uh, it's still on uh, Deborah's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But uh, then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it into uh, a veiner to give it its uh, textures. And then also I'm going to use a Zioto pen. Um, and it's a wonderful heat pen that's uh, developed that we all just love. So I have some sugar that is heated. And what I'm going to do is first show you the um, dipping of the sugar uh, just on a couple of the petals. Now, when, um, when Jesse refers to sugar, she's referring to isomalt, semi-isomalt. Um, before isomalt was isomalt, I guess it was sugar. It's called sugar. Well, it is, um, it's like um, a candy that is uh, sugar-free, and uh, it's used in sugar-free suckers. But it's uh, developed through that. And now I, I refer to it as sugar because it is a supplement for that. Now, these are holly leaves that I'm going to show you with the Zioto pen and also with the texturing. So I'm going to um, put you down uh, so that you can see me. And first off, I'm going to show you also how I stick the wire onto that wonderful smart sheet. Uh, so you All tell right. me when you can see me. My husband's on the iPad, so he'll tell me whether you can see that. All right. All right, so you're kind of, I guess he can direct you because he can see it. They're just going ahead and adjusting to make sure that they can, we can see everything. Um, are you able to turn your camera? Because we kind of are on an angle. I'm not sure. Yeah. There we go. Bear with us, guys. If anyone has questions in the meantime, let us know. That's what I want. Okay. Oh, bear with us. It's the the one day we'll always we'll find an easy way to turn this down and get into the position we want. We need that invention, guys. <laughs> Let's see. That's okay. You may want to just bring the camera up a little bit too. That may help like back it away, you'll get a wider viewing area. <laughs> Just bear with us for a second. Did everybody share this yet? You'd like everybody to share. Yeah, you know, what you need to do is, can you see the cup? Yeah, we can see um, probably about three quarters of That's the cup. Perfect. Okay, your right edge is what's off. That's okay. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Can you see the, the pedal? Yep. Yep. Okay, so this is this is Tylos and water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the wire into that and it's like a glue. It works very quickly. Um, also, I have um, Little Honey's glue that I use, and also I use um, uh, vodka. But tonight, this is what we're going to do. Can you see that, Deborah? Yeah. So you'll notice it comes out with uh, some of the glue onto it. And I'm just going to lay it on there and just rub my finger across it, and it sticks. And in about five minutes or so, or six minutes, it is dry in order to use. I'm just going to go to the oven and I'm going to put this, the glue to the side. I just wanted to show that that is a repeat from one of my other videos. So if you're looking for that, 
it, uh, Deborah has it on her uh, channel. And these are the petals. I'm going to dip these petals that I've already got them wrapped. I'm just looking at this. Okay. And I'm going to put on some gloves here. And why are you using gloves? <laughs> because um, I'm not we're using the liner in the gloves, but um, I use these so I don't get my fingerprints all over it. But I usually don't wear gloves, but everybody should. There's a cotton glove that goes inside, and then the other um, safety glove goes over the top of it. And you can just buy them in the in uh, off. Um, uh, do you have them, Deborah? Yeah, we have them on our site. Okay, so you can get them from uh, icing images and you can get them from semi isomalt. Um, exactly. And they come with they come with the glove and they come with the cotton glove inside it. So I'll be with you in just one minute. I'm just gonna go and get some sugar. All right, make sure guys, as you watch this, um, many of you know about the comments that, that show up, um, that you check out those comments. I add links in there. Um, and some other information, just depending on what we're talking about. So that's always there available for you. Now this mold, where did you get that mold? That's gonna be a question. Where did I get the mold? I got it from uh, years ago, but you can get some nice veiners at Hobby Lobby, or I think you can also get some uh, from Nicholas Lodge um, uh, store, uh, yep. Vayner, there's all kinds of them, and Katie Sue, all of them, and they all have this wonderful veining in them. But this is an old one that I've had for years, but I've, um, uh, Chef uh, Nicholas Vayner's also. So this is the shimmering red, which I'm using on, on this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip it into the sugar. And I pull it out very slowly. That's such a pretty color. Let it drip. It's beautiful. It's a very beautiful color. I'm going to dip it again. And uh, I have the wires pre-wrapped because I have, it's like a TV show. So, you know, I can do it on the head. Then I'm just gonna take that and let it drip in front of the fan for a little bit. This is my fat glove. And um, I use a little pair of scissors and just snip that off. Then I'm going to pull this up here. How many people out there have used isomalt with a veiner before? You're kind of off the screen now a little bit. You want to go to your, your left is where you want to go. There you go. So all I'm doing is pushing it into there. And you'll see that there's a little bit left over at the top of it. And I'm just snip, all I'm doing is snipping the extra sugar off. If you don't want to do that, then what you can do is you can just use your, this, this wonderful Diocho pen and just clean it up. And see, you have uh, the petal. Now, a lot of people ask me, how are you going to get that petal onto that? Well, I'm going to bring this over here because um, I can bend this because it's got a wire on it. If I want to, I can just snip that wire off because it is getting kind of thick. But what you can also do is just dip it in a little bit of the sugar and then stick it right here onto your piece like you can see how how i've done that all the way around and then i'll wrap it with um the uh floral tape afterwards 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nice, so you can see this. I want you to be able to see it because the screen's kind of small. Now keep in mind that this, this is hot because I've had it in the oven, but normally we're just using, I just had it ready so that uh, we could use it. I'm just going to take a little sugar and I'm just going to set it on onto this piece, set that down there. And I'm going to put that right in there and press on it. And the pedal is on. And it's movable. And then I filled in that blank. So I was just showing you that I can texture this. And you know, so I'm going to leave that with you. And um, I want to show you with the Z Zioto pen how I texture the holly leaf. Now, I want to show you this is the one that we dipped in the glue, the Tylos and water, and it's already stuck onto the petal. So I'm just going to set aside. And it's hot, so it's only hot because it's sitting in the oven. Normally, we're using the microwave with um, semi pre colored isomalt, and I didn't call it sugar that time. That's my <laughs> isomalt. So, I'm just going to put this back in the oven. And I'm bringing forward the green. I love the semi isomalt. I know a lot of you use it. Yeah, it's, it's hard to know what to look for here. Now, when I'm going to dip this, you see how I have lustered it with um, Chef Nicholas Lodge's um, winter green. It's so pretty. I like the variations that you see with that. But I use it to see if it's going to, you know, let go and have bubbles on it and that sort of thing. And it can, but um, in this case, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this, I'm going to dip it into the green. And you notice it's a larger piece. So don't let that be alarming to you. Is draw it up really like the other one. And if you see some, don't worry too much about that because you can also, uh, your torch on this after it's been dipped. And I'm just drying it, or what I mean, I'm saying drying it, or setting it up. And I just pull that off a little bit. Now I'm going to texture it in. Just lay it down there. You can give it a little shot there. Just give it a little push. Not too much. Okay, it did what I wanted it to do because I wanted it to miss. If you want to fill that in, which you don't need to because it is all filled in, you just can't see it very well. You see, I can take this pen. Can you see that, Deb? Mm -hmm. And so that I is a Zioto pen. Fill in where the veining was missing. The Zioto pen is a heat pen That's that is pen. safe, right? And yeah. If you, if you want to clean. Yeah. So I'm just, I, what you have to do is remember always to move the sugar. Sydney made it. Yay. that. We have extra left on it. 
So, Hello there, Sydney. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that upside down and get my torch. Turn the fan away from me so it doesn't blow things all over the place. But you see the back of it's got a little extra sugar, which I wanted it to do. So I can show you this. I torched. Torched because there's a, I want to turn it low again. Try out first, we'll do this on a wedding cake or a cake that's ordered and try out the, uh, is the screen frozen? No, mine's moving. Okay. So I'm just going to light this up. And you don't point it at, you point it away. Now I'm just going to go over that gently. And you see it's got a sheet in there, but I can just, just a little bit. And I have it on one of the silicone sheets from uh, Semi. I don't have one of yours, Deb. I have to get one of yours. So let's say you fill that in too much. What I do is I do this in, this gold grip, set it aside, and it will set up. It's a little stuck on there right now, so we're just going to pull gently and snip that off. And then I'm just going to set it in with the rest of the holly, and that's texturing inside with a smart sheet beautiful and, and show you the cake has think that you picture up so i'm inside now there's two people that i watched a video more than one i watched these two um this and she was making leather with um, paper paper and uh, had not tried it with a smart shirt. I just clean this up a little bit here. So you said leather? Did I hear you right? Leather. Uh, Liz okay. Eric did a live with you a while mm -hmm. ago, and she did it on wafer. And yes. uh, she did the big uh, leaves and put in the. Um... You see that okay? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So that's, uh, that's done with a smart sheet. And you see, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. I put the wires on it uh, when I was uh, painting it on, and I think you have the formula for it. And if you don't have it on, we can put that on, uh, give that to you. Let's see, you want to do yeah. just like a, let's say a petal of it. Hey, Lori, can you find that um, video? But it um, works very well for large. But she hadn't tried with um, with the smart sheet. So I decided, like you said, I'll try everything if somebody says they haven't tried it. So you see, this is not colored at all. But we can take my here and just color it somewhat brush it on there you can also highlight it um, with any color you want and uh, put them all together and it makes a very large flower. She made very large leaves with a beautiful um, lily. So do click in onto that because the reason I'm doing this is because 
because she had tried to the start. She partially speech. I came to love waving. I used to years ago. But to the loving the ice cream show piecing. So you take it, then you can take this and you can bend it this way, bend it that way, bend it this way, bend it up. So you could then go around and make yourself a beautiful flower and put in the center of whatever way you want to make it. So that's the start sheet made with that Liz Merrick showed on, um, and you can find your uh, icing images page. Yeah, we're going to be putting up the link in just a second. Huh? And become, I have made a list here of the things that I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so also, Liz, or Lisa, the wonderful uh, piece on wafer paper by stenciling. Yes. So I decided that I was going to do that too. And that's <laughs> a full sheet of wafer, uh, which is icing images wafer, which I would recommend that wafer. That you it's and you have two different grades, but this is the the um, lighter grade of wafer. Yeah, it's a thinner. It's the the AD. It's the standard wafer paper. Here is the link so to the wafer to, paper. Show you that also she had never done it or tried it. Going onto the smart sheet. So I'm gonna show you smart sheet. This is the smart sheet. And beginning is conditioned paper and the wafer with um, Crisco or uh, you know a, a high ratio of fat uh, very lightly. And then when she went over the top of it, she did a stenciling and then she took um, the colors. And let's say the stencil is still there and you've got these colors and just dab and the stencil's over to it and you dab onto it. And then when you pull the stencil off, it has got a beautiful pattern of what you tapped onto it. Now, the other thing I'm gonna show you with these is um, hang it in a frying pan. And um, there's a lot of people that are doing wafer now that um, you fry in the frying pan and you get different, um, you get wonkiness and um, texture and everything that you want. And you uh, can spend hours on cutting petals and I'm gonna show you a quick way to get around uh, saving some time as long as you like a very organic. We got the link up for you on Liz's uh, live. These are okay. The center is there. I'm just waiting a second to see where I am. Okay, um, Carol Ann does have a question for you. Are you able to wire these flowers as well? Yes, these flowers that are uh, on the wafer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to some that I. Okay, with this one, all I did, I'm going to show you this. This flower. I just ones that I've already made. And um, this, this bowl. What I did is I, I cut uh, the two pieces into uh, a leaf design, and then I I, I used paper potion and put it on a uh, brush and brushed it on and put it in the hot. So some of those on this demo, 
And before we go any far, I'm going to show you the um, wafer wired. Oh, wow. You've shown us this cake before, haven't you? Oh, I guess I'm recognizing it. Uh, you have it. I, I gave you the No, I just did this one. This, yeah. uh, this is just a, I'm going to show you how I fried that and this. And then what I did was I crunched up a bunch of uh, leftover wafer and uh, I used my um, one of these little spritzer with some mm -hmm. vodka in it and I crunched it up like I make the centers normally right right here also and then I stuck it on and then I shoved the wire in and then on the back of this one you'll see that I used a little bit of the uh, fondant or gum paste or whatever you want to use on it or wafer and the wire goes straight up through it okay so we're going to turn this on. This is um, a lot of people are doing this and your color when you color. Uh, I'll show you this in a little while. And this is what I call the forgotten. Petal. Me is Asian. And that this is very fast, very quick peak. I have the one over here. You just doubled up, doubled up uh, wafer. The uh, wire is in the middle of it. And then you um, just cut it to whatever you want to have. And in the glue that I used in between this was um, little honeys glue which I have here somewhere. Uh, for me, I use a, a vodka and also I use um, this and I use um, the Tylos and water. And icing images has the little honey. I'm gonna say. These are uh, just uh, pieces of wafer that I just Yeah, you're off screen again. Can you see that? Nope, you're off screen. You need to move to your left. There we go. Hey, Dave, if you move her camera and slant it more to the right, it may help her a little bit. That's so pretty. We can see it, but it may help her. That's so pretty. Just wait, give me some It's coming in. There's the other one. And I'm going to turn it over. I wired up through. Up in here, I used uh, the mold. And so right down here, I use little honey. But what I'm trying to do is show you that it works with all of them. In this center, I just took leftover crumbs of the main center, and then I Fold around it blue. You can just use water if you like, but um, you notice how they're just organic. They're not any form of style other than. So I'm going to move the camera over to the frying pan here.
You know, the frying of the wafer paper, I know um, if you all remember, I traveled with Adriana Bologna. I'm sorry. We can't see all of it. You kind of have to back the camera. You have to back the camera up a little bit. They get taller. It's too close. And still more. Much better. Can you get some wafer? There you go. Yeah. So this is uh, just your plain wafer. And I'm just going to, can you bring me that water? Hand me all the water. Just hold it Use a little water on this. And hey, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting like a, a leaf. And on one, I'm just going to put a little on one side of the leaf. And water on the other side. So here is the shiny side. Can you see that, Deborah? Yeah. Okay, that's the shiny side. So I'm just going to. One thing about paper potion is for smell. I like to use it on one side on the other side. So we're just going to. You know what I wonder as I watch you? Let's do it. Oops. Jesse? Then I'm going to spray it. And uh, hopefully you. So, Jesse, can you hear me? It's burning its own. own um, you don't have to take anything and form it, you just put it on the pan. And I have it on a medium low. So one side is paper potion, the other side is water. And so we've got this nice shaped petal or leaf, whichever you would like to use it on, on making a flower. That'd be pretty with butterflies. Yes, it's beautiful. Now I'm gonna take another and I'm gonna make a bigger piece. With some in so Jesse, can you hear me? Nothing Jesse. random. I'm really doing any great job here. Can you hear me, Jesse? Yes. What happens if you fry a smart shape? So that's the shiny side. What happens when? If you fry a smart sheet. Oh, a smart sheet. Um, I'm going to show you that uh, very shortly. Um, oh, you're going to fry it? Very well. Um, okay. Uh, but, what does, but what it does is it softens it and makes it really flexible. It's not the same oh. way for the uh, way for has this. It, it's very um, fragile. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray both sides, both sides of this with water. Spritzer and let you watch that grow. I have now medium low, but you can eat. Uh, you see how it forms itself? So there's hardly any work to it. And if you want it to um, 
be a little more flexible. You can put one side with potion, one side with well, the potion. When you in the frame for both sides, I'll show you that. You want to make sure that the heat is around because it can burn. So I'm just going to give it a little bit on both sides. I'm sure you this because you have to be careful with it, but it'll pop right up. You see going sides are coming up. I think she froze, guys. I don't know if you all can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? I don't know who can hear who or trying to find out right now. We're taking a look at this. So just stand by, guys. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, guys. Stay with us. Move this back over here. Hi, everybody. It's me. Give Jesse just a minute to figure out what's going on. I um, appreciate your patience. What do you all think about all this? I guess I should leave my trick leg up. Um, Jesse has so much to share with us. I love it. Um, and um, it, you know, she just she doesn't just like copy people. She she tests things in different ways. And like even the frying, I thought she was going to make that fried wafer, which I think she's going to go into. But um, she made those leaves just take so much shape. It was pretty darn cool. Um, so um, it's gonna. I want to see what she does when she fries the smart sheets as well. It's 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 interesting to see her apply different uh, techniques to different mediums as well. Um, Sid, I know you're on here. Is there any more tickets to your retreat? Um, let me know. Um, I do have somebody actually coming with me now, Sid, uh, and uh, I don't know if she's going to take classes. She's fine just going. Um, yeah, Carol, I know you try everything too, but you won't come on live. <laughs> um, yeah, it does bubble. It's pretty, it's pretty darn cool. Um, that's what's so much fun about watching her. Hopefully she realizes like she's not teaching right now and not realizing she's not on, you know? <laughs> should be interesting to see how long until she figures it out. Um, but um, I just, I love the te techniques that she uses and just expands upon everything that people do, which is neat. One all access ticket and 10 dinner demos. All right, so Sydney, I have somebody joining me, so she will be at dinner as well. Um, okay, um, I just got noticed that she is coming right back on, so just bear with us. Um, chicken, you, you want chicken, <laughs> Carol Ann? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, it's, it's pretty cool to see the things that she creates and just expands upon over and over and taking us into different areas. Um, have you all, um, I guess many of you have probably, oh, is she coming on? There she is. Oh, you got to turn off your background one. There well, we go. Oh. oh, she's gone. She'll be back. Um, <laughs> she's so funny. And then she's going to disappear. I'm watching her over on Facebook and then on the live feed. There she goes. You Carolyn, you're a chicken for what? Like eating or trying things? Um, uh, you're still working. You, you know, Jesse Ann doesn't have internet. <laughs> That's what cell phone coverage is. If you can watch it, then you can go live. Just saying, Carol. Um, 
but uh, yeah, so anyway, um, if you guys don't know about the uh, semi retreat, your chicken to come on live. Oh, see, there's two carols here. <laughs> You're both welcome to come on. I think uh, now, Carol Ann, you, you like, you'll say it, but Carol Fisher won't. She, she keeps blaming it on the internet. <laughs> She's so funny. She's so funny. But um, I wasn't sure if you're going to eat a chicken, Carol Ann. <laughs> so um, let's see. Yeah, Car Carol Fisher. That's not me. That's Lori speaking in the background there. Um, the, the woman behind the curtain, that wonderful curtain that we have. But um, anyway, so um, has everybody seen this, the sales that we have going on? Uh, we actually extended them through today and then they will be ending. Um, and I hear you, I watch in my living room. So where do you hear me from? I know you don't hear me from another state. <laughs> um, but um, oh, his, she's is back on, I think. Oh, that's Dave. I'm not seeing her quite yet or hearing her yet, but Lori may. Um, let's see, let's see, come on. I don't hear it. Like usually I'll kind of hear her before she comes on. Um, so just bear with us for a second. This happens. We're kind of used to it, right guys? And I appreciate you so hanging in there as well. Um, not yet. Oh, not yet, Dave. She's not on yet. Sorry. We'll get her on. Hang with us. She's still got so much to show us. She carries so much and, and wants to share everything with, with you. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So, who is making something unique during the holiday season? And what is it that you're making during this holiday season that's unique? I wanna hear some, what some of the people are, what y'all are doing while we wait for Jesse to come back. Um, and uh, if you go to the semi retreat, I believe Jesse Ann is gonna be there as well, which is great. It's a ton of sponsors and everything. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So come on, we're almost there, we're almost there. You can tell I'm tired. I'm not like rattling off everything to talk about like we usually do. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, yeah, Don Joyner just added the uh, Nicholas Lodge. Yep, I hear her coming now. Um, we put her up, put them up a couple times. Um, please support them. Um, there we go, she's back. And now I'm gonna disappear. Once she gets her camera set, I'm not gonna disappear until she gets the camera set. Because that's when buttons get hit and things turn off. Let's see. Yeah, she's turning. She's turning it. She's turning. I get solid okay, internet so only. In for a minute. Okay. All right. Are you okay. Yep. And I'm going to disappear. She'll put me in the background. Okay. So now what I, want, I would like to show you. I can still see Deborah, but that's okay. I like to see her too. Hi everybody. I'm sorry about that delay, but my phone got too hot over the little burner and it came up in an emergency. So I'm gonna show you um, if, um, if you can just wait a, a minute, I'm gonna heat it on the stove and I'm gonna take the camera over to it. Now I'm gonna show you what I did with those little pieces that I was taking and frying. One side was done with potion. The other side was done with uh, H2O water. So, This flower here. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, yes, it's very pretty, but it takes a very long time to make this flower. And um, not that I mind taking the time, but you know, Deborah and others that have watched me before, I like to save some time so that you can make a little money. And, but this would be beautiful, just set on a cake, lovely. So there's so many of those petals that I wanted to take that, and that's all wafer. And what I did was I took a little, made a little disc out of gum paste. And um, I took this class years and years ago. And I used a little bit of glue or a little bit, uh, you can use the uh, little honey's glue or you can use the uh, Tylos and water mixed together or else you can use um, piping gel. And um, I'm not fond of placing, 
piping gel with um, wafer because it uh, can uh, saturate it a little bit too much. So I like something that dries a little faster. So that's that flower. Now this is what I did with the organic. Oh, wow. So what I did with this, with the wafer, was I cut strips in the shape of anything that I wanted to, and I put it into the frying pan at medium low, and I uh, formed it. And then I also made a disc with this one on the back of it, and I glued it on using the Tylo some water, and I also glued it on with the, um, each different petal with a different glue just to test it out because uh, Deborah will tell you that that's what I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it all works very well. You have to be a little patient with um, the, the um, like say if you're using piping gel because it's got more of a water base in it. Whereas with uh, the little honeys is faster and dries better with the wafer i feel and then also tylo some water and or vodka vodka dries right away and so that moves on to uh but i want to make sure that everybody realizes how i made these i just cut them in strips and different leaf patterns and put them into the frying pan i sprayed one side with um paper potion and the other side that goes down i pre i sprayed it with H2O and it just formed its own organic look. And I will use this on a cake this weekend uh, because I have a, some orders in. <laughs> now you can make that ahead of time, right? Yes, you can make them ahead of time. My, my, I live in a very humid climate and I have a little uh, button that tells me the humidity in the room and um, like that uh, wafer, the yellow one has been around for uh, years. So oh, wow. it probably looks like it's been around for years. But then after I made this and stuck it together, I took a bowl in the shape, whatever shape you might have, and I just let it sit in there like that and let it dry. Because when you first stick all of those on there, it, it, it can be a little wet onto your gum paste or fondant, whatever you're using. You could also use chocolate if you like. So that, that works also. This is, uh, this is one technique that I made with the forgotten flower. I call it the forgotten flower because uh, we're into roses, we're into uh, peonies, we're into all of the bigger and um, flowers that we um, used to be into my day, it was, it was carnations. So this is a carnation that I made out of gum paste with one uh, formula. Now the one that I really, really like is the one made out of um, your yellow wafer or a colored wafer. I'm gonna show you that. Now the yellow wafer we don't have anymore, but you can take the plain white wafer and color it. Yes, yes. And, and luster it. Uh, you can get that from um, uh, Chef Nicholas Lodge's site, the yellow, and you just dust it and it works fine. Uh, and or airbrush it uh, lightly first, then let it dry for a little bit and then lightly again, and then you can turn it over and it's done on both sides. And I just happened to have this because Deborah had given me some of the yellow at the time. Yep. I'm just going to be a minute. I'll be right there. All right. Any questions so far? Hey, Taisha, how are you, sweetie? Nice to have you on, as always, girl. I love all these different flowers that you're sharing with us. So this is one I made just a, 
last night and it took me like less than 15 minutes to make this. Wow. And I left out some of the petals. So if we have time, I don't know where, what time we're at right now, but I could show you how um, it takes, I, I cut 13 rounds, just, I did not buy a cutter, four carnations. I'm going to show you this technique, which we've done before, and I'm going to cut around and I'm going to stick it onto this so that you see how I make it. Now, I have to put the camera down again, but we're not okay. going to get near the heat this time. And All right. I want to know, um, I'm asking a question now, is everybody clear on frying the wafer paper? For the technique that you show, showed us with the, with the leaves, I think everybody is, but ask and questions yeah, if you also, don't. You can also do that with both sides. You can do both sides with uh, water, uh, spritz of water and low heat. But the one thing that I do tell you that if you're going to do both sides with the potion, you could burn a little bit. So that's why I use the potion on one side or don't put anything else on it, but make sure the potion side is up and then it'll form this, this droopy, beautiful petal. Oh, and wow. You don't have to uh, do that. So I'm going to get this sticky up thing here. Put that in there. I'm going to put the camera down in a minute. And mm -hmm. I have... You tell me, you just tell me, Deborah, when you can see it. Oh. We're trying to get to which part of your screen, your, your, there we go. All right, so we can only see that your left edge of the red paper, which is now in the bottom corner. So um, if you, if you work right where you're at, where your hand is at, you're fine. But okay, the, sorry. yeah, we can't see the low, the, the right edge of it. That's okay. Okay. That's, that's okay. Now, this is vodka in one of your okay. little tubes and mm -hmm. it lasts for a long time. So I'm going to use this. And then I have a, a gauge 22 of wire. You do not have to have a gauge 22. You can use less or you can use uh, more. Mm -hmm. I can see it. It's, can you see that now? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to set that down and I'm going to show you how to cut this. I'm going to go up here. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping the cutter into water and then I have a towel underneath it and I have my wafer on top of it. And if you're using uh, one of your um, crickets, which Deborah sells, you can probably cut multi of these, but I'm going to show you this technique and that's water. And I'm just gonna push down on that. And pop that little circle out of there. And so I have a very variegated edge and a rough edge, which you find in the um, uh, carnation. I got my little brush here. So everybody can see that. I'm just gonna spray a little vodka into this. I got a brush. I'm just going to take a little vodka and wipe over that. A little bit there and a little bit here. The vodka, right? <laughs> and it gets nice and soft. And then I'm going to take this green wire and I'm going to stick it right down through it and let it rest on one side of it. I'm going to flip that over, squeeze it, and I'm going to squish that in. And there you have one of the petals. Wow, simple, easy. Very easy. Then what I do with that then, and you can make, you can make them all 13 at one time. I'm gonna bend it and let it set for a minute. Get some floral tape. Now this is hard to do with gloves on, I think. But 
I'll, I'll try so it doesn't stick. Maybe I'll take it off. So we're testing an edible product that might replace that tape, but I have, we're some things in it. You have it? Okay. I do have it. I do we have need it. to make sure that it passes the food standards that we have. Well, it's made, That's the question. It's made with your wafer and it's made with your smart sheet and it passes. And it also is made with gelatin. Um, okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, but there's another product. <laughs> That's the edible, that's, I'm gonna do this in brown because I started okay. in green, but I'm gonna do it in brown. And all I'm doing is wiring this on. And you see, that's all you do is you just keep putting them on until you have about 13 of them and you can have more of them and you build that up. See right there, we're missing one, but that's okay. Uh, when the, when the uh, carnation gets full bloom, I'm gonna show you a real one you'll see that the petals do come down on it. So like if you're doing this for competition and you don't do it exactly or very close to a carnation, just call it a fantasy flower and it's something that you made. So then you can continue on with the other ones and you have a fold that you go down and wire it and put your little leaves in there and uh, you've got a carnation. 